Hello everyone. Welcome back to another session of Grand Making. We have discussed about the history, introduction, estate dough. We have discussed about the various ingredients and functions and roles of various ingredients. We have discussed about the principles. We have discussed about the various methods which have been used for brand making. Now, in this session, we will discuss about the various steps which are involved in a good fermented bread making. In this session, we will learn various steps and we will follow all the steps for making bread. Let's start. Steps in bread making. As for the bread making methods, we will now choose the steps of bread making. Here, we are discussing the basic steps used for the bread preparation. The first step is collecting the ingredient with proper weight. Mixing of ingredients, fermentation of dough, knockback, resting, dividing, scaling, shaping and panning, final proving, scoring and baking, cooling the baked bread, and last is cutting, packaging, and in the last we will store it in a proper temperature. This is these are the steps which will be followed for making a good for making a good texture bread. We will discuss all of the steps in brief in our next slides. Baking is a science. It is essential to begin correctly with the right ingredient in the correct proportion. We start with the ingredient should be correctly scaled and weighed as per a good recipe. In this we will scale our all the ingredients as per our recipe and put it on a table for as like we do a mise en place. Mixing of the ingredients. We have discussed various method used for yeast dough in our previous video. Precaution must be taken while mixing the ingredients as Overmixed and undermixed dough have poor volume and texture. A properly developed dough feels smooth and elastic. A lean dough should not be sticky. Rich dough are generally undermixed slightly because a greater tenderness is desired for these product. Mixed yeast dough has three main purposes: to combine all ingredients into a uniform smooth dough to distribute the yeast evenly throughout the dough to develop a gluten so we must consider a right method fermentation of dough the fermentation process is very important step in the fermentation process the dough should be fermented for a proper length of time during which the yeast cell act on the sugar and produce carbon dioxide and alcohol a number of physical and chemical changes take place during this time an under fermented dough is called young dough and a over fermented dough is called an old dough physical ch changes includes a steady increase in the volume of dough can be up to 5 times in its origin volume increase in temperature by 5 degrees celsius to 6 degrees celsius and lit above also increase in the number of yeast cell by about 26% in straight dough and 56% in sponge dough loss of moisture is one of the physical change which happen in fermentation change in consistency of the dough it becomes soft elastic and extensible some chemical changes also occurs like the ph value of dough reduced to 4.7 from 5.5 due to production of acidic acid lactic acid sulfuric acid and hydrochloric acid formation of maltose by Diastic enzymes by acting on starch is also one of the chemical change. Producing production of chemical 
like carbon dioxide and alcohol by enzymatic reaction mellowing of the gluten by proteolytic enzyme present in the flour and yeast is one of the chemical change which happen in the fermentation the times depends on the type of dough which you are using the type of method which you are using generally 45 minutes are considered a good fermentation time for each and every dough knock back or punch back generally we do a punch back for improving the quality and yeast quality in the dough punching is not hitting the dough with your fist it is a method of deflating the dough that expel carbon dioxide redistributes the yeast for further growth relaxes the gluten equalizes the temperature which was uh, uh, gone up up in in the time of fermentation it also increases the gas retention of dough and helps in better dough making it equalizes the temperature throughout the dough and ensure more even fermentation the first punch is normally given when 60% of fermentation is completed and the second punch is given in half the time required for the first punch addition null fermentation and punching may or may not be necessary depending on the product so it is very important step we have to follow these steps in making a good proper texture bread resting resting is a essential step to develop the yeast activity to store a more flexible and pliable structure which will responds well to the manipulation of the molder it is necessary to let the dough rest while the fermentation continues the time given to the dough to rest is 20 minutes generally in this method the dough is the yeast dough is rested and the activity of yeast is improved dividing scaling shaping and paning i just called it makeup makeup of a developed dough the function of dough makeup is to transform the dough into proper scale and mold dough pieces which after proving and baking will yield the desired shape and desired bread the operation in, in involves including scaling which is basically dividing the dough the dough is divided into individual piece of predetermined uniform weight and size the weight of dough depends on the final weight of the dough generally 12% extra dough is weighted to compensate for the baking loss next is rounding rounding the dough pieces which had lost a good part of the gas during the dividing are regular irregular in shape and sticky with perhaps cut surface the function of rounding is to impart a new continuous skin that will retain the gas as well as reduce the stickiness next is intermediate proofing dough that has undergone dividing and rounding operation has lost much gas lacks extensibility and will tear easily it is necessary to let the dough rest while the fermentation continues get stretched dough which can be molded and last is molding or panning the dough is now molded into a required shape which is been uh, generally required as per the bread name or as per the size of bread or as per the development of bread in the next uh, stage final proving 
it is basically second fermentation the purpose of the final proof is to relax the dough from the stretch or stress re received during the molding operation and to facilitate the production of gas in order to give volume to the loaf it also changes the tough gluten to a good mellow and extensibly character proving is a continuation of the process of yeast fermentation that increase the volume of the shaped dough proving temperature are generally higher than the fermentation temperature under proving results in poor volume and dense texture over proving results in coarse texture and some loose of flavor is also there french bread is proved for longer time because it has to get that characteristics of open texture scoring and baking both are the final stage of bread completion in the oven cutting or scoring a break on the side of a loaf is caused by continued rising after the crust is formed to allow for this expansion the top of hard crust breads are cut before baking and it is generally used for giving some uh, designs also and we can give some design on the bread by this scoring uh, technique next is oven baking oven temperature and baking time temperature must be adjusted for the product being baked at the proper temperature the inside of the until becomes completely baked at the same time that the crust achieves the desired color we also use washes many yeast products are brushed with a liquid called wash just before baking like water starch paste egg wash etc can be used somehow some people also use milk as a wash loading the oven proof dough are fragile until they become set by baking they should be handled carefully when being loaded into the oven and they should not be disturb disturbed during the first part of baking some of the hard crust breads also required steaming the hard crust breads are baked with steam injected into the oven during the first part of the baking period the steam helps keep the crust soft the steam also helps distribute the heat in the oven further adding to the oven spring steam also result in a thin crisp glazed crust the most important changes while baking are like oven spring which is a rapid rising in the oven due to production and expansion of trapped gases as a result of the oven heat the yeast is very active at first but kills at 140 degree fahrenheit inside the dough that is 60 degree coagulation of protein and gelatinization of starch happen in while baking in other words the product become firm and hold its shape formation and browning of the color the color get its color a nice brown color while it goes under a baking process a proper right temperature is necessary for baking your bread cooling the baked bread very necessary after baking bread must be removed from pans and cooled on racks to allow the escape of excess moisture and alcohol created during fermentation small rows space on baking sheet are often cooled on the pans when air circulation is 
adequate. On the other hand, if consideration condensation is likely to make the bottom of the rolls soggy, it is better to cool them on rack. If soft crust are desired, bread may be crushed with melted shortening before cooling. Do not cool bread in a draft because the crust may crack. It is the last step of bread making, cutting, packaging and storing. Bread to be served within 8 hours may be left on wraps. For longer storage, wrap cooled bread in a moisture proof bag to retard staling. Bread must be thoroughly cool before wrapping or moisture will collect inside the bags. Wrapping and freezing maintains quality for longer period. Refrigeration, on the other hand, increase staling. Hard crust bread should not be wrapped unless frozen because the crust will be softened and become leathery. It is a last step and very important to retain and increase the shelf life of bread. Cuttings of breads are done with two methods. One is with in the machine or in the by the hands. Also, Packaging are done commercially nowadays and there are various types of packaging which can be used for bread packaging. Thank you. This is the end of this video. In our next video session, we will discuss about various bread and their faults. Thank you very much.